Hey everyone, welcome to Dave's Bonsai. On today's episode, some more wooden boxes. The sun is out in all its glory today. 28 degrees right now on the last day of March after 70 just two days ago with about 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts on Monday and Tuesday. In the 70s on Monday, in the 40s on Tuesday, it's 28 right now. It feels like 15 with the winds that are still gusting 10 to 15 miles an hour. I think all my trees are protected. I got stuff in the cold frame, stuff in the garage. I've actually got a heater in the garage because tonight is supposed to go down to like 20. After all this glorious warm spring, Mother Nature, that roller coaster ride continues. Take care of those trees, right? So, on a cold day like this, nothing better than to do a wood project. So, a couple of uh, weeks back, maybe a month or so back, I made two new boxes from some wood that I picked up. And uh, I got some 2x4s for the legs. I've got some uh, plywood for the bottom. And I've got the um, fence boarding for the sides. So we got the fence board, you know, that has the nice all pre-cut, six feet tall, and I got a couple of those. Those things were only a couple of bucks each. The two by four was about five bucks, and the paneling, or the plywood rather, was a sheet of uh, two by four, two by two. I got four pieces of wood from it. I'll have to take measurements. But uh, I got two left over because the other two are at the bottom of the other two pots I made. And just to show you what I did with one of them, this was the viburnum that I repotted only a few uh, days back. So here is the pot in all its glory. I have it in the garage because this is a recent repot and I don't want those uh, sensitive roots to be uh, damaged. So here's the pot um, and uh, the tree's going to do well. We've got uh, growth that can happen to the sides. It's not too terribly deep. For how deep it looks, it's not that deep. And the reason why is because of where the 2x4s... Here's the 2x4. You're only seeing about an inch and a half exposed. The other inch and a half is in here. And then you have the thickness of the plywood, and so then it's not that thick. So our pot is only just under 4 inches deep. So not too bad. Three inches might be a little bit better, but as you can see, this tree fit in real nice right here at the soil line, and I've got a nice lip between this and the top of the pot, perfect for this size tree for right now. I want a lot of more growth on this tree. If you want a lot of growth, the wood boxes are highly recommended. We want uh, flatter, you know, shallower, and we want some room to grow for the ones that are gonna grow. Uh, a little bit bigger pot for that reason. So we're gonna go ahead and put this aside. And we're going to make a couple more of these. So once I took this and put it on my table saw and got four pieces from it, that was done. And then I just had to take some measurements. So we're making our box right here. So once that was done, I just had to make my measurements here to go uh, on the side here once the 2x4 was in place and connect that on one side and the other. And then have one that went like this. So we'll take a peek at those measurements. We'll get our 2x4 ready. We'll get the saw up here. And we'll make a couple of final cuts before we start drilling this thing together. Super quick one today because everything's almost pre-cut for me. So let's get started with that. The first order of business is the easiest one, I think, because it's the 2x4s. So I'm going to go ahead with my old model because these are the exact same size board because they were all cut together. And so I'm going to go ahead and see how big of a 2x4 I need for the base, for the legs. And so I cut those right at 12 inches, which is what I think I remember because these are all 12 inches. Just a little bit uh, past on that one, or a little bit shy. And there's 12 inches right there. So we're going to go 12 inches on the 2x4. We're going to make two boxes today, so I need four legs. So let's go ahead and make four legs, two by four style, 12 inches long. Hey. 
There we go. We have four two by fours ready for the legs. For the sides, I know I need two of each side to be the exact same length to get us started. And these are two that were from the leftovers from when I made them last time. And uh, I can go ahead and make sure that they're where I want them to be. And in, and in fact they are. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these. Because I had my original two, I only had to make two. So I have my four, and the uh, second sides will have to be a tad smaller. We'll make those measurements next. Okay, so we have our outer shell, so now we have to have the inner shell. And that's gonna be 12, just like the two by four, because these are 13 and a half, the inside has to be 12. So we need four that are at 12. And I have two that are at 13 and a half. So I can go ahead and measure these. And give them a cut. Four at 13 and a half, four at 12. We've got our bottoms. And we have our legs. We are ready to construct some bones eye boxes. I had mentioned earlier that I had about just under four inches of depth in here. And I thought maybe I'd like it maybe a little bit less for some species. Um, so I'm gonna make these, one of these next two with more like three, three and a half instead of four, just for an extra less inch, I should say a less inch, not extra. Um, so we can have a little bit flatter of, of uh, a root growth, right? So it's not going down as much. So I might make that a little bit deeper. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna sink the two by four a little bit more into the structure by just another half an inch or so. <clears throat> if I go an inch, if I go too far down, then these won't stick up off the ground a little bit. I like the little, I like the air to get underneath here. We want the air to circulate into these holes here, the drain holes, so we don't want this stuffed on the ground. So I do want this, um, and it's on mulch typically in my garden, so I do want it to be off the ground a little bit. And right now it's two inches. So if I take one inch off, I'll have an inch left. If I take a half to a three quarters, that's gonna make it a little bit shallow of a pot, but still give me some legs. So we'll put this over here for our reference. And really, all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the 12 inch, uh, the 12 inch boards, and we're gonna screw them on to the 12 inch two by fours. And wherever you make your, however low you make it, you could make it flush if you wanted to, and then the depth of your pot's only gonna be about an inch and a half, two inches. Uh, but then you put this uh, plywood on there, it's gonna only be even less. So I want a little bit of a leg on there. And so I said I had two inches before, so why don't we go to, let's just make one one inch. So I'll measure an inch here, I'll measure an inch here, and I'll take another piece of wood here, I'll line up those two marks, and I want to stop right there. Okay, let's do the same thing on this one. Let's measure an inch, then let's measure an inch, let me go ahead and put the board on here to give myself a nice uh, plumb line. And we have our two legs that are going to stick down from the pot that high. So then all I have to do is take this first piece and line it right up there on that line and start my drilling process. It couldn't be much simpler. And so there we go. So I've got my drill, I've got the right size of screws that I'm going to be using, and I'm going to go ahead and put a couple in. What I will caution you on uh, with this thin wood and this, uh, these uh, boards that I've got, these fence boards, 
are rather are rather um, dry and they do split pretty easily. So at the end of my uh, screwing in the, the, the screws here, I want to make sure that I'm going slowly and just tug it, tugging it in there just a little bit so it, glow, it goes below the surface, but it's not going to split any of that wood. One is already done. We're going to take the other small one and put that on the other one. The other thing to keep in mind too is if you ever look at these boards and you haven't used them right after you bought them, they typically will bow. This fence board will bow this way. It might bow the length too, but it does bow the, the width, right? So we want it to curve into the pot, not away from the pot. So if this is the inside of the pot over here, I want the wood here to curve this way, right? So it's all curving tighter together instead of trying to drift apart with more warpage. Because if it warps while there's soil in there, your pot could start coming apart. And I have another way we're going to keep our pots together that I'll tell you about in a moment. So I'm just putting three in right now. Three should be plenty. I could put five in each one. That might be a little overkill. This is just a bonsai pot. Now that went a little bit crookedly, so I'm going to redo that one. These pots aren't for uh, show, they're not supposed to be beautiful, but I want them to be pretty straight. So I went ahead and redid that one. Get my line a little bit more accurate. So there you have a left side and a right side. So to finish this process, all we have to do is put on our front and back. So this one's a little bit harder, so we have to stand it up. But they should stand up on their own with those two by fours there, and we should be good to go to put this on here. Again, look for a little bit of warpage. It warps a little bit that way. So one nice thing about the two by four, and the reason why I use two by four, is that it's a thicker piece of wood, and with this thin stuff, <coughs> excuse me, when you're going thin to thin, the top of the box, that splits more, unless I drill, drill some pre-holes, but then it's not as strong, right? And it might pull apart after time. Whereas I'm going to get at least one, maybe two drill holes right in the two by four. And then I make sure the tops are plumb, not the bottom. So I'm a little bit off with the wood. Sometimes the deck board or the uh, fence board is a little bit, uh, it's not quite a five and three quarters or whatever it's supposed to be. And so one piece might be a little bit thinner than the other. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put the top flush so when it's uh, viewed by you and I with a, pl a plant in there, it's going to look as pretty as possible. Okay, so again, I'm going to match the top, which is your right in front of you there. I'm going to make sure this is plumb up here, and there's a little bit dangling off the backside here, which I do not care about because, again, no one's going to see that. It's going to be on mulch. We're not going to worry. Put it in the 2x4 first. And now we're gonna turn around and do the same thing on the back. That one's pretty straight. It's harder for me to tell, but I think we're gonna go that way. All right. So these boxes are not gonna last for eternity. Um, they are gonna go bad after a couple, two, three years. But if I can get my two years in this pot before I have to repot a, a deciduous tree, that's all the life I need. And I'll make some more. I told you the price for these boards. I am making these for under five bucks a piece. I think it was, or maybe it was, maybe it was seven or eight a piece. I don't, I don't think it was that much though, to be honest. I'd have to recalculate all the pieces parts. Little uh, boat action here, make sure that everything's lining up. I didn't get quite the most plumb cut in the world. Once that front part is where I want it, try my hand at left-handed drilling. There we go. So I only have two in there right now. That would never hold the pot. Once you get soil in here and your tree in there and you're moving it around, these are going to want to separate right here. So we're still going to put two more holes right here from thin to thin. But again, this is a really easy wood to crack. So we're going to drill some pre-holes to make sure it doesn't split. So we're going to go ahead and take our bit out, get a drill bit in here, and we're going to go ahead and make some pre-holes.
If there was a little bit of splitting in the wood, it wouldn't be the end of the world. Again, we're not building this for aesthetics. We're building this to grow a tree. Um, we want this to grow as best and as fast as it can. Well, maybe not as fast as it can. We won't want huge internodes, but we want some good growth. We want the roots to go flat, not down. So let's go ahead and drill a couple of these pre-holes in here. This way you have to be very careful and work on your straight up and down skills. I had a little free spinning action there at the end. There, that one caught a little bit more. I might have drilled the pre-holes too deep. If you go too deep, you might not have that screw to catch at the very bottom. And that one caught. So two out of three. And that one did pretty well. This one spun at first. So if you had a close-up up here, this one's not going to sink in as much. So let's take out my drill bit here, my, uh, my screw bit, put in a drill bit. We're not going to go quite as far this time. We're not going to go quite as deep. The drilling is going to be more important for the piece on top than the piece down below. All right, we didn't go as deep that time. I think these uh, screws are going to catch really nice now on that wood. That caught real nice, and when it grabbed total that wood, it didn't split the wood like it did on my first one. I didn't go quite as uh, extra preparation on the last ones, and they split just a little bit. There we go. Grabs nice and tight. It's going to hold this together. That one was a little looser. There we have it. So we have our uh, two by fours here as the legs and it's gonna be the holder of this right here. It's gonna hold in our... It looks like we have a little bit of breathing room on this one, which is totally fine. Fits a little bit better that way. The more breathing holes, uh, the easier it is going to be for, uh, again, air to get through there, oxygen, and water to seep through, so I'm not so worried about the little tiny gaps. So the bottom is in. The bottom is secure. Now, we could add another 2x4 here and here. Um, it's just extra chunky, extra weight. I don't feel it's needed. We're not going to keep this thing more than two to four years. Um, if this was going to be 10, 15 year old piece of construction, this bottom piece after all that moisture would just get weaker and weaker and bow and everything probably in here. But this is going to be two to four years with a lot of drain holes and it's just going to get bad after a while um, and we're going to replace it with a new box. So now I just have to drill all my breathing holes here and we have a completely finished box. Now the other piece to add to this, if you wanted to make some more support, I have some extra pieces from when I made this. What you may want to do is you want, may want to put some corner supports. So if you put some corner supports and get these all cut so they're in nice and good shape, you can put some corner supports on here and drill in one, again, pre-drill, drill your holes here, and that's going to keep this uh, part of the box a little bit more secure. As long as your tree can fit in there, just corner to corner here is all you really need. I've got a knot right here, so this one wouldn't work unless I put it way back here. But I could put a couple of corner brackets on here and just make it work. You could put them at a slight angle if you needed to to get rid of that knot and you'll be just fine, right? That's the back. So I might cut a couple of these up to make a couple of corner pieces just to make this last a little bit longer because two years in, this may start to bow a little bit. And that's really only if you're moving around your um, pot a lot um, and, and, and creating a lot of just extra pressure and force on it because if you put a lot of pressure on this, it's going to want to maybe split apart a little bit. But let's get our holes drilled. So I typically will put some um, sheetrock tape over the holes here, or if you have an old screen. Um, but sheetrock tape does really, really well, so we're just going to make a whole bunch of holes, so we just need a big enough hole. I've just taken the biggest drill bit I have in here, and these drill bits with a screen over it, it's going to be just fine. So here we go.
Get a lot of pieces, parts on these. The nice thing with this many drill holes is you also have a lot of place to wire in if you need to wire in. Which you may not have to with this wide of a pot, but you may need to do that. So there you have um, a finished box in uh, no time at all. So we had our four sides, 13 and a half by 12. 12 on the inside, 13 and a half to cover for that two by four. So there you have it, all the holes, everything's all set. We are loving life. And when you put them side by side, you notice this one's a little bit lower because we made the feet lower. The depth of the pot is only three inches deep. And this one is the original four. The before, the after, you make them as deep as you want and you are good to go. More boxes for more trees, which my wife is just loving. That does it for another episode of Dave's Bones Eye. Thank you so much for watching. Click like, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell a friend. Sure appreciate it. And keep the comments coming in. Love hearing from you guys and uh, responding as quickly as I can. I love it. Um, so here you go. Make some boxes. Have some fun. Take care of you. Take care of your Bones Eye. And I'll catch you very soon on another episode.